Hi there, this is Jane here. Hopefully you can see okay. It's a bit of a weird lighting day today. I'm, I do these kind of by my window and the sun's coming in and it's going out and it's coming in and it's going out. So hard to get the lighting right today. So hope that you can see. I'm gonna shuffle up the fork and the tarot deck and put down a card for today. Let's have a little shuffle. I hope you all had a nice Easter and enjoyed the break. There we go. Let's have a look and see what our, our card for today is. Okay, so, oh, beautiful. So our card for the day is the star, and the star is one of those cards that says make a wish. Um, because, you know, when you wish upon a star, you know what happens. So it, the, card, the star is all about hope, really. It's all about there being um, hope for the future, for you to be able to manifest the things that you would like to manifest in your life. It's a real law of attraction card. You know, if you've watched my stuff before, that I work a lot with the law of attraction and um, I've kind of just been getting back into um, listening to my Esther Hicks stuff each evening. Um, it's really easy to, with your sort of spiritual practice, to kind of slip out of a routine and then to try and get back into it again and it is um you know it does require sort of some dedication and some um focus and it's been quite difficult time for me with time lately as you know if you've watched me you know it's all been a little bit rushed and things have been there's been a lot going on so then it becomes quite difficult sometimes to manage your spiritual practice things like meditation slip out of the window um you know like the little practices that we do for ourselves kind of um slip out of our priorities because life takes over so i made a concerted effort now to get back into my um morning meditation and my um evening meditation and also what i do just before i go to bed is i listen to um a little bit of esther hicks talking about Abraham and the um, law of attraction because I find that that kind of sends me off to sleep in a really positive way you know imagining all the things that I could manifest for myself it's a perfect perfect way to end today um, so when I put this up on YouTube I will put the link to her the page that I use or her page um, up so that you can have a go as well but in the meantime back to the tarot um, the star is all about that. It's all about making your wishes come true. You have a part to play in this, okay? So it's not just about, oh, when's change going to come along to me? You have to be the change that you want to see. You have to put in some effort. Now, that might not mean that you have to be out in the world and forcing things to happen. It might just be a case of you having those positive, positive thoughts, doing the things that I've just talked about, you know, to create it can just be you dreaming about what you want rather than, you know, I haven't got this and I haven't got that. And right, just really not um, looking at things in a in a kind of negative way rather than this is what I would like to create. Um, quite often we sit in an energy of I don't have this and therefore everything is not OK. Um, so this star card asks you to be in that mode, that kind of energy where we are saying, um, I may not quite know how I'm going to get this particular thing or this particular energy or, or feeling that I want. Um, but I'm working towards it and I'm trying trusting that there is a way. I'm trusting that the path will be made clear to me. I'm trusting that it's possible for me to have it. Um, I'm trusting that it's coming to me. All of that kind of energy. So it's real, really different to I'm really miserable because I don't have X. Um, so the star talks about that. It's that kind of creating energy for us today. What I'll do now is I'll put down an oracle card for us to go with this. Let's see what we get. This is the energy oracle that I'm using today. Okay. So... 
these are kind of polar opposites really um the star is talking about manifesting all good things and this is talking about the broken heart this card so it's about you being able to heal that energy okay we've all been in a place where we've had a broken heart where we've been really really you know devastated by the end of a relationship or, or the end of a job or the, the end of something that is that we've loved and we just um have to allow ourselves a bit of time to heal from that so you might find today that you are doing some of that work you know allowing yourself to heal allowing yourself to recover from something you know just being really gentle with yourself and allowing yourself to um to feel better and to you know if you feel really sad about something to allow that feeling to flow because once it's it's flowing it all it can leave much easier um so it's a really really important thing to just you know although we are trying to keep really positive we must not i don't believe we should kind of completely ignore the fact that something is painful for us so you have to process that at some point but you know process that and then start setting yourself dreams to um work towards things that you want to manifest for yourselves things that are good around you already and be grateful for those things um so those are two quite interestingly opposed cards so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop down one of our new um aim um animal tarot cards just to go with it gives a little bit of clarity um because it seems like we've got a bit of an opposition today we've got on the one hand what do i want to manifest on the other hand but i feel like i can't because i'm so sad so we we have that going on um which is it's a difficult um energy to sit in really because it's very up and down we want something but we either feel sad that we can't have it or we can't um manifest it or we, we have unhappiness around us so we need to be able to process that and to be able to lift the vibration enough to process what we want and manifest what we want rather so okay so i just shuffled up the um animal tarot and as i was shuffling you could probably hear me moving around um a card jumped out so this is the card that jumped out for us and this is the beautiful ten of summer so this is like the ten of cups in um in the tarot it's all about happiness and joy and family and all of that stuff so it says on here um it's time to express your love and appreciation for family uh be it relatives or friends um congratulations may be in order um for a happy fulfilling marriage as well as raising happy balanced children so the ten of summer is kind of saying to us that here we are here we are we have the star what are we wishing for then we have the um broken heart which is in order to manifest what we wish for we have to heal our broken heart and then when we heal our bro broken heart we move into the ability to have this you know this joy this um happy relationships just this happiness around us so it's a real story again today so we've got make a wish heal your heal your broken heart and then you will be able to manifest what you want i will leave that there for today and i'll be back again tomorrow to do another card for the day so thank you very much for watching and i'll speak to you soon bye for now